Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are... Modelling for, for Advantage. Advantage. Hit it. Whoop. So what are we getting, John? Hey, today... Oh, it looks to be... Um, yeah. Flames of War. Flames of War starts at Waffen it. SS. Did you know Waffen, Waffen SS is actually German uh, for Waffer Thin Silly Sausage? Waffer Thin Silly Sausage. That is what we've got today. Yeah. Waffer Thin Silly Sausage. So this is a new starter kit for the Waffen SS. We've got one each for unboxing and later play purposes. I, I like Flames of War. I like Flames of War. There's a lot of stuff in here. Mate. So, Johnny B, what are they going to get? So, it's telling me... Yeah, mate. You get 17 vehicles, two guns, and five infantry teams, sir. That's a lot of stuff, right? Uh, yeah, that's a fair bit. It's a lot of stuff. And I couldn't tell you specifically what we got. I know we've got some epic tanks on the front there, mate. Yeah, mate. Some tigers, by the looks of it. Some bigger tigers. Some Maybe tigers some other bigger tigers. tigers. What, well, on the back though, John, fortunately, all oh the wisdom. Oh my, them. look, if you turn it around, it tells you stuff. And my favourite bit on this is the fact that it says in the back, all plastic. All plastic. No resin in my kits here. 100%. So we're going to get two tigers, five panthers, some 88s, a platoon of infantry, some half tracks, and some armoured cars. Mate. Sweet. Let's get it open then. Two poos. <gasps> Yeah. I like the I look mean, of the look uh, at that. sheer amount. You get a lot of stuff in here. Uh, so, ooh, the sheer amount. So hopefully there's decals, unit cards, everything you're going to need. <gasps> it tells you. includes everything you need to start playing Flames of War. Everything you need Rules, to start models, playing cards. Flames of War. We'll have a little bit of a sort and we'll oh be right back. God. Right then, Johnny B, have you got your pals? Oh my. I mean, not, I have not the pals that I you need green for. Pals. Right, well, should we start by looking at the bits of, the bits of paper, mate? And then we'll go on to the, the sprues, if that's all right? Yeah, man. Yeah? So you get one of these Waffen SS start here booklets. So, obviously, these contain... You, you're getting started stuff. They contain the basic instructions. Oh, wow. Then a kind of cautionary note about these instructions, or just as, an, as more of advice than anything else, is that there's often more than one way of building a lot of these kits, but they usually just provide you with the instructions to build the models as depicted on the box. Okay. But it may be, and we, and we might spot options. some of them as we go along, some of the other options. And you're gonna, if you build the kits like they are on here, you're gonna have some bits left over and it won't be clear what they're for. Right. You know, but they're nice. And it shows in here that you're gonna get, if you build it exactly as it says in the box, 95 points. We haven't played a game bigger than 75 no. points yet, mate. That's and it was, not bad going, It was perfectly it's enjoyable, so that seems legit. Yeah, I like that he gave you these little full color brochures and some indication of what comes next. Yeah. Nice. So then we go into, obviously you get your Flames of War mini rule book. I love the fact that they stick one of these in, the, in all Every of, their starter of the starter kits. One of the things as someone who likes to dabble in a lot of games, I'm always a bit resentful of having a fork out when it's big money for rules. For extra, an extra 40 You know when it's like 35, 40 quid to play the game this or to try the game. lets you to play it yeah. straight out. Now, if you're serious about playing Flames of War, you probably want to get yourself a hardback rule book and army books, unit cards, all those yeah, things. Yeah, but the size it's still of 40 this, quid in, but this will get you going. It'll paper back. And it's, you're going to buy, you're going to end up buying more than one starter box in yeah, your yeah, yeah. Flames yeah, of War absolutely. career, so. And, and, and that's the other great thing is you're trying to get people into Flames of War. You just pass this stuff around. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you yeah. pass so it you want to so, give James one? So, I, I mean, it's, it's perfect. It's a really good tea coaster on the side of the <laughs> Mate, I like to believe you read the rules. Right, so this other patch looks like i got unit cards and decal sheets. I love decals, me. We love These some decals. These are some different shenanigans. These are different decal sheets than uh, the ones we've had before. They're all wafer thin silly sausage decals, though. They are wafer thin silly sausage. You mean that's head or something? The totem cop, yeah, okay. So you've got your various SS units, um, divisional badges Boo. in there. But you've got some, you know, Balkan crosses and yeah, some, get some, some numbers. And they've got that protective film that they put on the front of their newer decal sheets. I like that. These, they've stopped issuing decal sheets with their ordinary tank boxes. The, just the normal Just to like, you know, platoon box. of tanks. Yeah, so the fact that you get some in these boxes mm. is quite useful. Uh, and then as to the unit cards, I reckon maybe I talk about the unit cards as you talk about the sprues. What do you reckon, John? Oh, yeah, I can waft them in front as you call them out. Yeah. Mate, you get a nice stack of cards. And you get, like, you, is this a double? No. 
It's a double, it's not a treble. It's not a treble it's like the other one treble. that you showed. Yeah. So it's interesting about these, a lot of these units are already out and about in other German formations for yeah. 1944. But what you've got is uh, different stats for the SS formations. So an SS Panther Tank Battalion is going to have different stats to a regular Panzer Tank Battalion, yeah, yeah, yeah. a regular one. And we'll talk about that as we get to them. All right, right so then, you pick, you, pick you a sprue. Gonna, um, can we start off with the, the Humble Tiger Tank? So the Humble Tiger Tank. The Humble Tiger Tank, all right. So this isn't new. If you've got um, already seen their late war Panzer, um, I'm not sure which one it is. It's maybe the E. It's the one with Zimmer in. Mate, these are crinkle cuts. These are crinkle cut, mate. Now, I know it says here on the Spree 2016, so... Yeah, yeah. So it's not one. it's not new. And it's got common but, and it's got late on, on here as well. It's got what? On the sprue itself. It says common and late. I don't know Yes, because there's to... three sprues for the Tiger overall. One part, one set is common to them both, right? Which is where you've got oh, this. So you've okay. got the upper hole, the lower hole, okay. the lower part of the turret. These are universal pieces, and, and then over the here, Zimmerit stuff. There's bits without Zimmerit in the desert filters, and on this side. So they're only giving you the bits, nice. the bits that you need. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've I've seen them the other way around yeah. with the desert tanks. What are we looking at? So on SS the table? Tiger tank platoon, mate. Interesting. As an SS Tiger. It's still got the same kind of basic stats in that it's got, you know, an 8.8 .8 centimeter gun with 14 anti-tank power and 3 firepower, <laughs> 9 front armor, but its motivation is 2 plus and its skill is veteran 3 plus and it's hit on careful 4 plus and the two of them is 25 points. So they're quite a bit cheaper than what we've seen before, wow. I think. Motivation two plus, not so that's your last stand, and your and your remount. So that really does show. And it's just a blanket two plus. Yeah. Up they did. They did tend to put veteran tank crews into tigers, and and especially big big kit, later. Yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. And but you know, fourteen though. Yeah, yeah. KV one where. KV1, mate. <laughs> so that's the Tiger. It's not, tiger. A new, it's not a new unit, but you can get the SS version of it. All right, what that's do you want next, one John? of the big cats. Um, can we have a little look at what seems to be a little... Whatever the hell that is. Well, that's interesting, John, because that's actually the same as a whole bunch of other things. It I'm seems to be. look at this. Have a look. In a little bit more detail. So what you've got in here is two... It's, again, is they're getting a bit this? cleverer with their that's plastics. That. Yes. So on this sprue, on the left-hand side of the sprue, you've got what's presumably... That's clever. The, Sorry, yeah, I've just realised, yeah. Yeah, the SDKF said 250, which is the mini half-track. Yeah. So you know like the, the 251, the hand and mag, as it were? They made lots and lots of variants, and this is the reconnaissance version. It's smaller. So the left part of that sprue you just showed me is common, and you can see on there, so you build that as an APC including taking, you see in, in the middle here, you can take the 3.7 centimeter That's gun. That's this big thing here. Yeah. But one of the things that the Germans got quite good at was um, reusing the chassis for multiple purposes. So you've also got here, SS Reconnaissance Platoon. No, I'm trying to find it. One of these is Sorry, an I, I car. Picked, this has got mental stuff. This has got guns galore. We've got MGs, we've got that gun you just said. On this secondary part of the sprue, though, there's a mortar by the looks of it. There's some yeah. sort of howitzer. Yeah, there's all kinds of extra bits. So on here, yeah, it, so on the box, what it's recommending is this is giving you the option to give it the two centimeter turreted cannon. So you've got the, but you've also got, as you say, you've oh, got the mortar yeah. machine gun. But you'll see it's got a turret with a strange kind of basket. This is, this is going back top. to that, you'll get parts that, uh, maybe not represented. Yeah, the little bit. So it's it's that one for these two with the extra half of the sprue. But if you go on their website and you look up this kit, you'll find the other things that you can make with it. 
So there's an option in here. The SDK have said 250 scout troop to take two of them with this two centimeter cannon right. and one of them with a machine gun. No dudes, just, but it's like two points and it's giving you the scout and the spearhead rule as well. Okay. So that's going that's to allow you to advance deploy. The whole line for, of deployment. Yeah, for a two point unit, mate. Boom. Super. Yep. I couldn't help but notice that they are exactly the same rolling into the other six that we have. Yeah. So one of those goes with this to make up that unit we just discussed. And the other five... Which is that half of that sprue. Make up the transport for the reconnaissance platoon. So um, the, the recon battalions in the, in the panzer divisions had companies of these... So again, it's it's half track mounted infantry, but they're much smaller half tracks. So yeah, five of these is the armored transports for the infantry that comes elsewhere in the box. Oh, okay. So that's there good. we go. All right, so that's there. those. I actually thought I was picking up the pumas there. I'm not going to lie. Oh right. Well, when uh, you get to the pumas, it's a lot but, bigger. But let's do the pumas. They are quite different. Now, so these the are cool. Puma. I've seen these in bolt. You've once seen or these twice. in bolt. Eight so, wheels of awesome. Eight wheels of awesome. So this again is an older kit. It's a 2016 sprue. Oh yeah. Um, and again, so this is representative of a number of late war eight wheeled armored cars with the bigger turret position. So you've seen like the the two three ones that we've got from earlier. Yeah. In the war, I think these are two three twos. I'm I'm not sure about the numbers, but it's a uh, it, it, it's able to take a bigger mounting in the turret and there's actually options again so you can get this scout this puma scout troop um which is the really iconic version of it with the five centimeter anti-tank yeah. gun this basically mounts the same gun that the mid-war panzer three did the up gunned one oh blimey it's a, it's a powerful anti-tank weapon for the size of vehicle but actually i think only a few hundred of them were ever made Whereas many, Seriously? many hundreds of the other versions. I thought the Puma was quite prolific, you know. Well, on a tabletop I think, aspect, I think, well, I think they are. They're a bit, they're, there might be more of a perception of that from the West, because I think the, there was only a handful of divisions ever were equipped with them, but they were all in France. Right. But, but that, that could be completely apoc apocryphal, but I think so. But it's a war gamer's favourite, because it's a big gun on a cheap high-mobility tra chassis. And to get a pair of those is four points and they've got anti-tank power on nine that's not that's not bad i mean it's not game changing for late war but, but you'll still, see for a little... what's this whacking great cannon i couldn't help but see it sorry to be a, a, yeah a, but, so that's the standard isn't it and yeah. then it's got that yeah so you can also build this same kit as a pack wagon which is basically a 75 mil anti-tank gun like wow. a pack 40 okay. mounted on the same chassis but that's got um, an open top crew compartment there's a few different vehicles that you can build here which again you know as you said have a we'll look at their website that will not yeah. be immediately yeah. yeah and and you haven't got unit Clear cards for them but the puma scout troop nice it's a cute I mean, it looks like you're thinking, I want to, you know, kid, draw me an armoured car that's really dangerous. <laughs> and probably, it's got eight wheels, mate. It's got yeah. a really big gun. Yeah, boom. Brum, brum, brum. Yeah, Done. all right. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, uh, what do you want next? Let's step away from vehicles and let's have a look vehicles. at these whacking great cannons. Whacking great cannons. What do they say on the box there? A couple of 88s, mate. Well, these are not just 88s. I'm not sure what the designation of this particular gun is, but this is not a flak 88. Pack 34 AT gun on the sprue. This is that what is it says on the sprue? Yeah. Pack a... 43, you mean? Yes. Pack 43. You did, yeah. Okay. Right. So this is an eighty-eight millimeter gun, like the the, the but it's on Boomstick. a mount for anti-tank purposes. So it hasn't got that high angle of fire. It's got a proper low thick gun shield. So it's been designed. It's a bit easier to deploy. It's intended for use in an anti-tank role. You get a pair of them in this box. Uh, they have an anti-tank power of seventeen. What? Um, and it's only nine points for the pair, mate. Well, I'm not surprised considering the gun is bigger than those half tracks we were just yeah. looking at. Uh, the 88mm is a huge, huge gun. So, again, these guns are perfectly usable in other Panzer formations and elsewhere. They just happen to be common in this kit, and they're obviously presumably got SS crewmen. Well, that, so, I'm guessing that changes the stats a bit. Yeah, I would imagine so. 
What's next? Mm, what's this one? This what one? What is this one? That. Oh, these are the track sections. Yeah. Johnny B. If you look really carefully, Johnny B. These are the track sections to the other big cat. These are to the other of the splendid cats of the Panther. Which is actually the last of the vehicles. Last of the vehicles. I thought we had more. There's a big pile of sprue in front of me. So most of it is. This part is old. This is the same one that they use for the Yag Panther. And it's, I think it's 2012 on this one. Yes. This is part of that, you know, they've slowly been transitioning to, to hard plastic. And I think these are components to support a resin or a metal body. Oh, really? Where you used to get like bits of it in resin, bits of it in metal, and then they made a plastic sprue for those bits. Okay. And then later they made other plastic sprues for the rest of it. <laughs> Makes sense, mate. So this is Plastic's listed as 2019. So this is presumably a new Panther kit. Maybe they released it for D-Day last year. I'm not sure. They possibly did. <laughs> but it, you see, again, it's got... It's crinkle cut, but it's done different, the zimmer it. Oh, it's much more like little, little bricks. Plate. Yeah, what's that one about? It, it's, the, same, it's the same, same effect, it's the same, it's yeah, yeah. Same There's different. just several different ways of applying it. So this is the Panther A, which is the middle of the series, just to be terribly confusing. The Panther, there's three versions, there's the D, the A, and the G. Oh, in I, that thought, order. I thought it said Panther A as in this is A sprue, <laughs> and, and this is B sprue. No, this is, this is a Panther right, A. Okay. So, so it's a 1944 Panther. Is what that Beast. is. Not not suitable for curse, I don't think anything would zimmer it. So you get five of those as well, man. So you get a hell of a lot of big cats. So the Panther though is worth talking about because this box is kind of giving you the stat cards to make a Panther HQ. You can take an SS Panther HQ. And this is where Panther, see in with normal units, Tigers and Panthers are very comparable in points in, in normal Panzer divisions. Yeah. Here, they're really quite different because the stats are different. So two, two tigers, two tigers is here is 25, but three panthers is 26. What? Now, there is definitely a difference because the panther is aggressive, not careful. Okay. Yeah, and we'll it's fearless that. rather than the two up, and it's trained. Now, different people have got different views about this. But what, what the kind of broad brush of, of modern historical research into the performance of SS formations, particularly in the middle and the late war, um, they are elite formations insofar as they are highly motivated. They weren't necessarily always highly successful, but they would try to do things that other units would not. If you want to look at what actually did all the damage on the Eastern Front, you'll actually find it's most of the mainline Panzer divisions. Yeah. Not exclusively, but mostly. That's so what the these guys will from. do is stuff that's stupidly dangerous. Craziness. And this is particularly a problem as you move into the late war. Anybody who's been entering the Waffen SS in a new tank in 1944 was raised in Nazi Germany. They've been in the Hitler Youth as so long as they can it. remember. They're, they're all over. They are extremely highly motivated. They've been brainwashed throughout their childhood. They really believe in what they do. But That's there's great. a desperate manpower shortage. Yeah. These guys have not had the training. So the Tigers have got Tigers existing tank pros given a new tank. But actually the Panther, as much as it's powerful to war gamers, this was the intended replacement for the Panzer IV. They just never produced enough really? of them to completely replace it. Yeah, this, so um, in 1944, 1945, Panzer divisions, one battalion is Panthers and one battalion is Panzer IVs. But the intention is, this is the new medium this is tank. The one. Yeah. That's brutal. Because yeah, it's got a fight T-34 and later the Pershing and so forth. Stat-wise, I couldn't help but notice its side and rear is quite significantly yeah. lower than a Tiger. Yes. Uh, yeah. Being five opposed to the eight of a Tiger. Absolutely. It's not a heavy tank. It's a medium tank. Right. Although there is an interesting... Um, conversation to be had about what the German army classified, classified as a, it as because we tend to talk about medium tanks and and so forth and we probably touched so upon this before. So highly if this was in an allied format it would be a heavy tank right? But well no the allies would call it a medium tank because we talked about tanks in terms of their role. Yes. That's the right, Germans tended to that. describe tanks in terms of their tonnage so they didn't regard Panther as a breakthrough tank 
but they did regard it as a heavy tank. Wow. Not that they use the term heavy tank, they, they tend to talk about 20 ton, 30 ton, 40 ton tanks, but it's not a breakthrough tank. Anyway, that's Panther. So interestingly, as I said, Panther, you can get quite a lot of these on the table that's three for the points. I mean, five of them, 44 three points, you've still got the other two. half of your army. Boom. And with anti-tank power of 14 and front armor of nine, Shermans are going to struggle. Yep. Shermans are going to struggle, but not against the sides. Got to whip around the sides, now, interestingly boys. Interestingly as well, I've just seen on this Panther HQ, mm. it seems to have a special rule called Old Hand. And I've not seen that before. And perhaps that's to reflect the fact oh. that they have a, like veteran commanders with like you know ro trainee and or new and inexperienced guys. Units from this formation as unit leaders within six use the form of this formation commander have a tactics rating of three plus. Ah, so if they're close to their commander, he brings them up a little bit. Okay, he improves their tactics. That's interesting. All right. Okay, so that was the most, that was the vehicles. But what else have we got in here, You John? do get some infantry, sir. And it says on that wonderful box that you get four MG42 teams. So if you're still here and you're still interested and you're tempted to buy this box, we do actually sell this on our website. We'll post it to you in the UK, £70. That's the standard retail price. There's quid. nothing special. We for don't charge it for shipping. And there'll be a link in the doofa. Enough for that. Let's move on. Sweet. So, you want to talk about the dudes then, John? We've got two bags of dudes here. The two bags of dudes, yeah. Two different types of bags of dudes. Oh, mate. Yeah. Loads Have you spotted dudes. that? It's loads of dudes. Oh, dudes. Um, nah, I'm pretty sure it said on there, all plastic. Yeah, mate. Uh, so, this is me? this is a new era. What is this? Are you ready? Well, this is... The new, so I'd mistaken uh, this in the past. This is the new, th what they're calling thermoplastic. It's like a weird sort of dusty resiny mix. It's a strange it's like resiny it's like mix. Fine cast, mate. Yeah. Interestingly, in here we've also got some resin. Have you is got there actually some resin dudes in there? The, the vehicle crew dudes. Yes. There's there's a driver. Or something. Oh my. Or he might be an artillery crewman that sits, you know, sits on the seat. I'm not they sure. I'll have a look. But these are resin. <laughs> but yeah, this is a new process that they're using, which is kind of like a resin plastic blend. They've moved through. We talked about the iterations of of um, their infantry, but this seems to be the one that they're settled on a at thermo, the moment. Thermonuclear plastic. They're calling it thermoplastic, but that's more of a process than anything else. So what we got in here? Detailing's not so bad. I'm just going to point that out. No, the it's not too bad. No, and the mold lines are not terrible. The question is when you, you take a scalpel them. to them. Do they? Does it? Do they crumble or do they shatter? Yeah, we'll 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 have flip? to see. The jury is out on that. These are nice sculpts, and they are new. I mean, they are definitely new German infantry sculpts. And looking at the 2020, colours... 2020. So one of the ways you can tell a model is supposed to be an SS dude... Is if they've got those little... Is they've got kind of they got kind of lace-up type tunics. They've got a bit of a strange collar arrangement as well. It's not just that they're... Like one out. It's difficult to see on the. It's difficult to see on this scale. I, I reckon you might be able to tell once you've got some paint on them. But yeah, I think. I mean, the detail looks good. So with the soft plastic stuff, I hated it and continue to hate it because you just can't take a scalpel to it to clean it up. Mm -hmm. And you can, well, no, you can't scrape it bends the mold. It, it just sort of folds it over. Yeah, and you have to cut it. Yeah. it. And I find that, that that's quite time consuming and, and difficult a process for something like this kind of infantry. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Now, you're not getting a lot of sorts, mate. here, yeah, though, mate. I've got, I've got rifles times yeah. one, as in five, five on a, on, on a little doofus brew. Yeah. Then it looks like I've got the crew to the guns here as well. Yeah, yeah I've got two sprues for that. Two of that, yeah. Two sprues of that. And then I've got a. I guess a commander and a Panzerfaust. Yeah, I mean I think so. Seeing that, so I mean this is probably presumably this is literally one platoon. This is a platoon. This is going to do you about five Ignore bases those of infantry. Truman, you've five, got yeah, that, there's twenty that. guys here. And it's going to do you. You got your MGs. Yeah, yeah, that's what you've got. 
So they're the new ones. We'll see what they come out like uh, later. Sweet. Nice mixture. So that's your infantry. Right. And oh, I wonder how well the infantry perform actually. Have a quick look at the infantry. SS stat Panzer card. Grenadier stat cards. Uh, they look to oh what right what so got? they've got very similar stats to normal Panzer Grenadiers and they rate of fire three move in halted sorry three halted two move in two anti tank six firepower they can take Panzer Faust Panzer Shrek etc but but they are aggressive not careful they are hit on three plus and presumably that is making them a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Is it though? A little, a little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper. Yeah. And their stats, their motivation is fearless, which is which is good. And they're still assault on a three plus because they've got a special assault three rule. plus all the assault way. Three plus. Yeah, yeah. Trained four plus for the skill. So Mate, I, mean, I couldn't help but notice. I don't know if you've seen the card there, but yeah. there's SS reconnaissance platoon in there as well, which I'm. It looks like you tack that onto the old SS reconnaissance platoon. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool, because it means like you can have like little dudes running around with your watches. Oh, yes, yeah, so I think the, the difference is which of the... I don't think... Are the stats the same? I think they are pretty much the same. The stats are the same, yeah, but it's the, they're going to take different... This one gets two five ones and this one gets two five zeros. The reconnaissance versus the Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, Panzer Grenadiers. Yeah? Yes, mate. Boom! That's the difference, That's whether the they've difference. got the little half-tracks or the big half-tracks. Or the tracks. big ones. Yeah, but you get a lot more little half-tracks, uh, and, and therefore presumably Fact. more machine guns. We are nearly at the end nearly there, guys. there, guys. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. The last bit is this ones? other baggie. What are these? Right, so these More are... and stuff, mate. So, right, one of the reasons they're doing this is because making these hard plastic sprues is apparently really expensive in terms of upfront costs. 2013. <laughs> but they have... They do, they do continue to make these. They just make them for things that they're going to have a high volume of. So what we've got in here, presumably, is... Oh, we've got... It's a we've whole bunch of... Two like, types. I'm seeing two tank commanders sprues. Yeah. So the two tank commander sprues we've seen before. It's the same tank commander sprue. It's been around quite a long time. BM016. And it's a 2013 sprue. It's a nice tank commander sprue. Um, but if you wanted to have all of your tanks riding commander up, you're going to start looking yeah. very similar. And then this but these other ones, these. this is the vehicle crew. 2013. This is a vehicle crew sprue, which they've done. So there's people sitting in the backs of the yeah, half tracks, people manning the MG. MG. Officer of some description. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So these are just to be glued in there, in those positions. I'm all right. not sure what this seated guy is for, though. Him. Perhaps it's one of the, the variants of... Um, Unless the some of the Puma variants require a driver. Or something. One that you can see inside. He doesn't look to be driving though, mate. He's casually just sort of sitting there. Yeah, but if you see him at the, at the right angle. I'm not sure. But this has probably been around for a while, so viewers may know. Mate, that was a look at the contents of this. I think if you want to start a late war German army, this is not a bad kit. I'm personally not overly keen on the idea of playing SS because they're all murderous nutters. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, or brainwashed children forced yeah. to fight. But that's, however you want to look grim. at it, it's all a bit grim. But war's a bit grim. You know, I don't judge anybody else for wanting to do it. Um, but nonetheless, these vehicles are still usable in anybody else's formation. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it is not a bad value kit at all. 70 squid. Jobs are good. I think that's all we got for them, John, isn't it? Let's do we one. Then, a bit mate. of a look. Let's do one. All right, let's do one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, like the video, maybe leave us a comment. Thank you.